matibabu aina ya cyber knife ndio ya kwanza nchini Kenya na ya pili barani Afrika. Matibabu haya yatawaruhusu madaktari kutibu kwa usahihi saratani za ubongo, mapafu, kongosho, tezi dume na uti wa mgongo. To make significant progress in reversing and minimizing the burden of non-communicable diseases especially cancer, heart diseases and diabetes related complications. Teknolojia ya cyber knife inaruhusu matibabu ya muda mfupi yatakayokamilika katika vipindi vitano. Kila kipindi kinachukua dakika kati ya tano hadi kumi na tano. Hii ni bora ikilinganishwa na aina nyingine za tiba ambazo huchukua vipindi takriban 30 kwa muda wa wiki sita. Wataalamu katika hospitali ya Rufaa na utafiti ya chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta wamesema vipindi vitano vya matibabu vitagarimu wagonjwa shilingi 1350 ukilinganisha na shilingi milioni mbili huko India. Vile vile bima ya taifa ya afya NHIF itagaramia matibabu. Through the essential benefits package your excellence that we have developed with the NHIF and through your guidance the critical care fund that you have told us to ensure that it is in place to be able to be accessed by Kenyans who end up with critical conditions such as cancer. Usimamizi wa hospitali hii aidha unaeleza umuhimu wa kuwekeza zaidi katika matibabu ya saratani hasa ya watoto na huduma ya radiotherapy ambayo inakabiliwa na msuko suko katika kituo hicho. For this answer, Patients booked for radiotherapy services are now waiting for up to 3 to 4 months. These Linux machines will be delivered in the next 120 days. Rais Ruto pia anaeleza umuhimu wa kuweka viwanda vya dawa na vifaa vya matibabu nchini Kenya. There is an immense opportunity for investment in manufacturing and the government of Kenya is going to take all necessary measures to guarantee a business environment to make Kenya the region's pharmaceutical manufacturing hub inakadiriwa kuwa juhudi kama hizi zitaboresha utambuzi na matibabu ya saratani nchini na pia kuwavutia wananchi wa mataifa mengine kuja kutibiwa hapa ben kerera k24 nairobi